Okay, now that you've gotten your crash course introduction to Backlink Beast, you're ready to get started and get some backlinks. So the very first thing that we have to do when we start using Backlink Beast is create a campaign. This is a super simple process. Just click on the little plus button on the top, and you want to name your campaign. Now you need to think about this strategically because if you're going to be doing a lot of usage with this tool, you may want to organize your campaign. So if you have a say golf website, maybe you want to call this one your golf website campaign. So I'm just going to call that golf website. So I have my campaign in place. So what's the next thing that you need to do? So the first thing that I want to introduce you to is the concept of projects, right? Backlink Beast uses projects to organize what you're doing. Now the available projects to you are account creation, submission, and RSS feeds, okay? These are going to be the ones that we're going to talk about right now. Now the first project, the one thing that you need to do before you do anything else is account creation. There's a reason for this. So what you're doing is you're going out and you're using this tool to create backlinks for you. In order to create backlinks, it needs a place to put your backlink literally out on the internet. Some of those places may be social networks, RSS feeds, but basically what it needs to do is to create those accounts to actually facilitate that submission. So I'm going to set up my first project here called account creation and I'm going to rename that to sample account creation for everybody here. So I have my sample account creation project set up here. Now in order to move forward from this point, I next need to create a profile. So I'll go to new account profile. So you can see within my project, sample account creation, I have this profile and it's called new profile one. I'll call this sample profile. Okay, so now I have my account creation pr project and I have my s account profile named sample profile. So the next thing that I want to do is go back to your projects tab here and I want to double click on the sample account creation tab. So once I double click it opens up this new window for me. Now this is where you're actually going to create accounts for all of these different websites. So you have social networks, social bookmark sites, web 2.0 profiles, PDF sharing sites, and web 2.0 article sites. This is strictly just a demonstration to show you what you need to do to set up an account. Now we're going to go through this a whole bunch of times as we do the submission process. So once you get to the screen, you need to select a project profile. So before I do anything, go through and I'm going to click the sample profile. This is the profile that I just created. So I'm on the account creation sample. I have my sample profile and let's actually make some accounts on this website. So I'm going to click PDF sharing sites. Okay, there's 13 of these sites on the on Backlink Beast today. You can see them listed here. Now, in order to create accounts on these websites, I'm going to need something like an email. So the next thing that I do is I click on the little email tab right there, and I want to create an email, and I want to use the disposable email feature. This is going to create an email address for me that it will use to actually log into these websites. So I choose from this. You could use, you know, previously generated Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, but the disposable email one basically means you don't have to do any of that work. So I pick that, then I hit auto create email. So basically what Backlink Beast is doing for me right at this moment, it's going out, it's making an email address for me, and it's something that I'm going to be able to use to register on these sites. So you can see it's finished. So here's my email address. I don't need to put in a password, it's automatically generated. So I go back to my created account. You can see I have all of these selected right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start. Now what that's going to do is it's going to go out and actually create the accounts for every single one of these websites that I have listed. So in about a second, it'll pop up a browser tab. And it's going to show me here's what's happening. Literally, it's going through to each one of these websites. Now you remember I talked about CAPTCHA. This is an example of me having to enter in this information whereas if I actually had a service that I paid I wouldn't have to do this. So I'll put those in. My CAPTCHA is all filled in so it's actually creating all the accounts for me. There it says finish. So I can close this out and then you can see I've created usernames and passwords for every single one of these websites. Now once you do that step the next thing that you need to do is verify these. So I'll click on the verify email and this is going to go through and validate that every single one of these accounts is in fact set up and active. 
This will take a couple of minutes, so as soon as this is done, I'll come back and then we'll get back started and I'll show you the other aspects of account creation so we can keep on rolling. Okay, so all of these are set up now. You can see that it says finish, so I close this out, close this out. So now we're at a point now where we've created accounts for PDF sharing websites. This puts me into a position where I can actually do a submission to a site like this now. Now this is a vital point, okay? In order for us to do any kind of submissions, no matter what it is, we must go through the account creation process. Now the catch, of course, is that we do not have to do this every single time. I have a sample profile right now that's set up with PDF sharing websites already having accounts on them. It doesn't mean that I don't have the option to go set up sample profile 2. Let's say I rename this. And then within sample profile 2, I can go do the same exact thing, set up more accounts, create more accounts, tie them in. So if I wanted to go and set up a new account creation project, double click that. I can do these in sample profile 2 and set up all new accounts on the PDF sharing websites. So because you've done it once doesn't mean that you can't do it multiple times with multiple different email addresses. This is of course how this site list doesn't necessarily cap you at a single submission. You can do this as many times as you want. So in most cases most people are going to have multiple profiles tied to the same exact type of project. So within golf website I could have more than one profile. I could have one, two, three, four, ten. It really doesn't matter. And then within one single profile, I could have a whole bunch of websites. So in this sample account creation, I can go back in here and instead of just having the PDF websites that I listed out here, I can actually set up accounts on social networks or social bookmarks, whatever that might be, and I can go through the same exact process. Now with the PDF sharing sites, just to show you the demonstration, we have 13 sites that are selected. You can see the usernames and passwords. So if I were to go to droid, docdroid.net, I could use this username and this password to actually log into that website now. That is in fact an active account. So that is the most important aspect of this tool. So I can't stress that enough. Once this is done, you are good and ready to actually start submissions for PDF sharing websites. Now if I want to submit to social networks, I need to create them for that. If I want to do social bookmarks, I need to create them for that, so on and so forth. But once you have this piece of the tool down, you are good to go.